Chapter 5 Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is a child of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his children too. We know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Loving God means keeping his commandments, and really, that isn't difficult, for every child of God defeats this evil world by trusting Christ to give the victory. And the ones who win this battle against the world are the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's Son by his baptism in water and by shedding his blood on the cross, not by water only, but by water and blood. And the Spirit also gives us the testimony that this is true. So we have these three witnesses, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and all three agree. Since we believe human testimony, surely we can believe the testimony that comes from God. And God has testified about His Son. All who believe in the Son of God know that this is true. Those who don't believe this are actually calling God a liar because they don't believe what God has testified about His Son. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. So whoever has God's Son has life. Whoever does not have His Son does not have life. I write this to you who believe in the Son of God so that you may know you have eternal life. And we can be confident that He will listen to us whenever we ask Him for anything in line with His will. And if we know He is listening when we make our requests, we can be sure that He will give us what we ask for. If you see a Christian brother or sister sinning in a way that does not lead to death, you should pray, and God will give that person life. But there is a sin that leads to death, and I am not saying you should pray for those who commit it. Every wrong is sin, but not all sin leads to death. We know that those who have become part of God's family do not make a practice of sinning. For God's Son holds them securely, and the evil one cannot get his hands on them. We know that we are children of God and that the world around us is under the power and control of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and he has given us understanding so that we can know the true God. Now we are in God because we are in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the only true God and he is eternal life. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your hearts.